Joe here with the Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to walk through the Solo app. So here's what it will look like when you open it. You'll see your total earnings for the week. If you have mile tracking turned on, you'll see your miles tracked here. The amount of jobs or how many rides you've given or how many deliveries you've completed. And you'll also see there how much you've earned in tips. You'll also see your average hourly earnings. If you're tracking expenses, you'll see those here as well. And you'll also see your estimated annual taxes. If you select your average hourly earnings, here you'll see your total income for the month, your hourly average income for the month. You can also see your total net income here if you're tracking expenses or your mileage. I don't have mileage or expenses tracking turned on. In the middle there, you'll see your market's average hourly earnings and also your average hourly earnings. And if we scroll down, you'll see your earnings by platform for the month. If we scroll down further again, you'll see your earnings for the week. And also there's a spot at the bottom here to manually enter any income that you want to. And if you want to change this view to either a weekly, quarterly, or year to date view, you can select that box at the top and then you have all those options here. If we select the expenses option, this is where you can add any expenses and also if you have mileage tracking on, this is where you can see your tracked mileage. And if we select the taxes toggle, this is where you can see your estimated annual taxes for the year. Mine personally are significantly high here because I have not tracked any expenses in the solo app. And if you do scroll down, you'll see the breakdown of the taxes that you will have to pay. Federal tax, state tax, and self-employment tax. Now if I select that trips option at the bottom there, this is where you can turn mileage tracking on and the app will automatically track your mileage. For years, I have just tracked my daily mileage using a spreadsheet, so I just personally do it that way. But if you want to, you can use the solo app to track that mileage automatically or manually. If we select the schedule option at the bottom there, this is where you can schedule yourself for the hours that you wanna drive and solo will guarantee average hourly earnings for you. And if you don't reach those average hourly earnings, they will pay you the difference. And if you do wanna schedule hours, you'll just select schedule now. And this is where you can schedule average hourly earnings with specific platforms. My only platforms available are Lyft and Uber, but if I wanted to add other platforms like delivery platforms, I could add those as well. And you schedule these hours using credits. If we select that question mark on the top right there, Here's where you can see some information on how guaranteed daily pay works. When you start with Solo, you get five free credits just for signing up. One credit equals one hour, and if you want more credits, you can purchase them for 25 cents per credit. In order to qualify for the pay guarantee, you have to have mileage tracking turned on. You need to complete at least one job per hour. You also need to accept and complete the majority of trip requests that you receive. And if you do work fewer hours than scheduled, they will adjust your guaranteed amount. You can review your daily pay guarantee info in the summary. You'll also receive a weekly report and payouts are processed to your Venmo or PayPal accounts two days after your guaranteed hours. And if you want to schedule an hour with a specific platform, just select the plus sign. And if you want to remove a scheduled hour, just select that X. And if we select that summary section at the top there, if you have scheduled hours for the week, this is where you can see all those. All right, if we select the insights option at the bottom there, this is where you can see weekly earnings trends for the different platforms. If we select that leaderboard toggle at the top there, this is where you can see weekly top earners. At the top of that list, you'll see your earnings and where you rank amongst all the other users. All right, if we select the airports toggle at the top, this is where you can see airport activity, how many flights are arriving at specific times of the day. And if we select that events tab, this is where you can see any events that are scheduled like sporting events or concerts. All right, now if we go back home, again, the only platforms that I have connected are Uber and Lyft. But if I wanted to add other platforms, I can just select this add option here. And here are all the other available platforms that you can add if you want to. If we select that subscription option at the bottom there, this is where they have different subscription options so you can get more functionality out of the Solo app. You can see the different cost of each plan there and you can choose to pay for these plans monthly, quarterly, or annually. 
All right, and that's an overview of the Solo app. If you'd like to download the Solo app, our referral link is in the description. We also have a free newsletter and the link to sign up for that is in the description as well. If you've yet to watch my previous video on how Rides is going in Minneapolis, be sure to check that one out. Thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.